Perceptrons is a 1969 book by Marvin Minsky and Seymour Papert that analyzes the capabilities of perceptrons, a type of artificial neural network. The book was influential in the field of artificial intelligence and it is credited with helping to slow down the development of neural networks in the 1970s. The book is divided into three parts. The first part introduces the perceptron and discusses its mathematical properties. Minsky and Papert introduce the basic concepts of perceptrons and lay the groundwork for understanding their limitations. They start by defining the perceptron as a mathematical model of an artificial neuron. They discuss the structure of perceptrons, which consists of input nodes, weighted connections, an activation function, and an output node. The authors explain how perceptrons can learn by adjusting the connection weights based on input patterns. The authors then delve into the concept of linear separability. They illustrate how perceptrons excel at solving problems that are linearly separable, where a single straight line can separate the input patterns into different categories. They provide mathematical proofs and examples to support this notion. This part aims to provide readers with a solid understanding of the capabilities and limitations of perceptrons. The second part surveys the work that had been done on perceptrons up to the time of the book's publication. Minsky and Papert examine how perceptrons can learn and classify simple patterns, such as lines and circles. They provide detailed explanations and mathematical analyses for each case, exploring the boundaries of perceptron capabilities in solving pattern recognition problems. Importantly, this part also delves into the XOR problem, a key highlight of the book. The authors demonstrate that perceptrons, with their linear activation functions, fail to learn and classify the XOR problem correctly. They mathematically prove that the XOR problem is not linearly separable, and explain why single-layer perceptrons cannot handle such non-linearly separable problems. The third part discusses the limitations of perceptrons and the challenges that need to be addressed in order to build more powerful neural networks. This part delves into the realm of complex patterns and the limitations of perceptrons in handling them. Minsky and Papert introduce the concept of multilayer perceptrons with hidden layers as a solution to overcome the limitations of single-layer perceptrons. They mathematically prove that multilayer perceptrons, with their ability to create nonlinear decision boundaries through hidden layers, can handle nonlinearly separable problems. One of the main contributions of perceptrons is the proof that a single layer perceptron cannot solve the XOR problem. The XOR problem is a simple logic problem that cannot be solved by a linear function and a single-layer perceptron is a linear function. This proof showed that perceptrons are limited in their capabilities, and it led to a period of time known as the AI winter, in which funding for AI research was cut significantly. However, perceptrons also made some important contributions to the field of neural networks. The book introduced the concept of the multilayer perceptron, which is a neural network with multiple layers of neurons. Multilayer perceptrons can solve problems that cannot be solved by single layer perceptrons, and they are the basis for many modern neural network architectures. The key points of the book are 1. Perceptrons are simple neural networks that can only learn linear functions. 2. The XOR problem is a simple logic problem that cannot be solved by a single layer perceptron. 3. Multilayer perceptrons can solve problems that cannot be solved by single layer perceptrons. The development of neural networks is limited by the difficulty of training neural networks to learn complex functions. A multilayer perceptron is a type of neural network that consists of multiple layers of interconnected neurons. 
These hidden layers allow the network to learn nonlinear functions, which is a crucial feature for solving complex problems. Unlike linear functions, nonlinear functions cannot be represented by a single layer perceptron. This is where the multilayer perceptron comes in handy. The most famous example of a problem that cannot be solved by a single layer perceptron is the XOR problem, as aforementioned. However, a multilayer perceptron can easily solve this problem by learning the nonlinear function that represents it. Interestingly, the book Perceptrons did not provide a detailed description of how to train multilayer perceptrons. Instead, it discussed the challenges of training them. One of the main challenges is that the training process can be very slow. Another challenge is that the training process can be very sensitive to the initial weights of the neurons. Despite these challenges, multilayer perceptrons have become a powerful tool for solving a wide variety of problems. They are used in applications such as image recognition, natural language processing, and speech recognition. The book Perceptrons was a controversial book when it was published, and it is still debated today. However, there is no doubt that the book had a significant impact on the field of artificial intelligence. It helped to define the limits of what Perceptrons can do and it inspired researchers to develop more powerful neural network architectures.